morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back again to Cop Jewels. Today we are going to do two important things. The first one is the review of this beautiful Tagore chronograph, the new Monza, with the black titanium case. And secondly, I would like to say that we will go also this year to Buzzword 2017. And for that reason, please subscribe this channel to don't miss the video from the most important horological related fair in the world. Now, in a second, we will switch the perspective and we will have a closer look to this beautiful timepiece. Thank you very much. Here you are with the new Tagore Monza with the black titanium case. The case actually is one of the best ones that I have seen since ages. Is absolutely well finished. Of course, here you can see that it is a special edition and it is absolutely well made, seriously. Of course, is this watch has like inside the caliber Tagore 17 and this, in my opinion, could be a drawback in this price point because like an important chronograph like the Tagore Monza actually has nothing related with the in-house but it is like a classic Tagore caliber based on the ETA 2894-2 but that's it, I mean Tagore uh, is doing and is keep doing for their historical model this kind of caliber, the caliber 17 as you probably know also the Monaco has inside the caliber 17 and the Steve McQueen one with the crown at 9 o'clock has the caliber 12 that basically is exactly the same caliber than the 17 apart that has actually the caliber at uh, 9 o'clock to be honest uh, I would like to see uh, this Tagoyer historical model like the Monaco, the Monza with something a little bit more refined, more sophisticated like uh, for example uh, the new caliber 01 or the new caliber uh, 02 that actually will be introduced in the new Autavia in Basel World 2017 and please stay tuned with the channel because we will be there and we will make at least beautiful video and review about the new Autavia. Related with this, uh, this Monza, aesthetically speaking, as you can see, it is a gorgeous watch. Uh, you can see at the end of the review also some wrist shot. And actually, yes, it is a, a really, really beautiful watch. As I said before, it is actually a shame that it doesn't have inside any in-house caliber or any more sophisticated movement, but that's it. Actually, anyway, the Caliber 17 from Tagore is still like a really nice and reliable chronograph. Nothing to say about. But, you know, it's a shame because it's a beautiful looking watch. It's, uh, it's performing amazingly and actually it is also a limited edition as you can see here from the case. Another thing that I would like to talk about is actually the strap. The deployment is in typical Tagore style and it is in black titanium as well. It is like a classic rally race spire leather strap. It is absolutely supple and it is absolutely comfortable. Really comfortable. It is one of the most comfortable that I have tried from Tag actually. It is much more comfortable than uh, the one that they used to put on the Monaco in Alligator. Anyway, as you can see, it has like uh, the indices that they are like uh, a cream color because they want to actually uh, give to the watch, to the dial, a vintage inspiration. But it is a completely modern watch, it is 100 meter water resistant. The case actually is not so thick. The sapphire crystal here is flat. The sapphire crystal here has like a little tiny dome. I don't know if you can see from this video, but actually 
Yes, it's not completely flat, but you have to touch it to realize that it's not completely flat. And it is actually a really, really nice watch. As you can see here, the sign crown, the pusher and the crown are in stainless steel and they are, of course, fully polished. The case is really well made, as I said before, like the case back is uh, brushed and the edges are high polish and after that uh, the side of the case is brushed again and the bezel is polished again. That it is absolutely a nice playing with different, uh, different treatment of the titanium. There is like a contrast between like a po uh, brush brushed surface and polished surface and uh, actually it's pretty impressive I mean the case and the build quality is pretty well done seriously in my opinion the only drawbacks that this watch can have is actually that uh, there is absolutely nothing in-house inside and uh, for this uh, price breaker actually it is a shame because we are talking about uh, £4,000 retail and uh, in this price point actually I would like to see something something more sophisticated inside this beauty. Anyway, that's all for today, that's all for the new Tagoyer Monza limited edition in black titanium. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe this channel if you would like to watch some other review like this one and to don't miss the video from Buzzer World 2017. That's it. As I told you, is beautiful watch. I would like only to see this watch with the new in-house caliber from TAG.